teenager growing up in South Texas in Harlingen, and I was sure of four things. That was about it. Um, I was a kid. I was going through high school. My first thing that I was sure of was my family. My father impressed that upon me. And Keith talked about that today uh, when we were talking about do not dishonor the name. Do not dishonor the family. You never do that. Also, his faith was number two. Yes, I was a teenager, so I may have had my priorities a little messed up. But my father was a die-hard, stout Catholic. So the Catholic guilt was impressed upon us at a very young age. And um, faith was most important to us. The, the third thing was football. I love football in South Texas. And I was a running back. Yes, I was a running back, Byron. Uh, and I was a standout in high school. And uh, I thought I was going to play football the rest of my life. But number four was becoming a police officer. I knew at that age in high school that I wanted to be a police officer. So I went to San Houston State University to major in criminal justice. And I remember my freshman year, I'd go into Houston to visit my sister and my brother-in-law, who, um, who was a Harris County Sheriff's Deputy, narcotics officer. And I remember going one weekend, and I looked down to the uh, coffee table, and there was this little blue magazine with the Texas Police Association logo and badge on it. And it said the Texas Police Association Journal. And I remember picking it up and I thought, how cool is this? And I thought, hopefully one day I'll be a police officer. And hopefully one day I'll be a member of the Texas Police Association. Ladies and gentlemen, in our, in our program today, in this, this, this uh, conference, 115 years. Uh, in, 19, in 1895, Fort Worth president, and Fort Worth, Morris Kahn was the president. 1895. And then you look at 2014, Grapevine, Texas, Matt Tristan is the president. And then all the presidents in between, some of the finest police officers and law enforcement officers in our state. And I had the pleasure of knowing many of them. And several of them are in this room today. And it's just a weird thing because I just don't feel I belong in that group. Because you see, I never asked to be president of the Texas Police Association. It was never my goal to be president of the Texas Police I wanted to be a member. I wanted to be a member because I thought and I felt that this was a great association, a great organization that promoted police professionalism and ethics and the nobility of policing. And to this day, I believe that with all my heart. Our theme this year was to create a sustainable future for TPA, creating a sustainable future applies to everything we do in our lives, from our children to our planet. It's what's going to prevent, pre preserve our future and our children's future and our grandchildren's future. Um, because we have to prepare today for tomorrow. And if the association is going to last another 115 years, it's not up to me, it's not up to Ray Chandler or any of the other vice presidents. It's up to every police officer in the state. This is an incredible association. I dare you to go to any police association where they act actually do a resolution for its members that have passed away. And this association does it year after year after year. And it has impressed me from day one. We are stewards of this organization. Everybody in this room and everybody throughout the state. Colleen Merrick talked about three things. Warrior spirit. And that's what we do. As police officers, when the danger is there and everyone is running away, we're running towards the danger because that's what we do. We have to have that warrior spirit in order to survive. And I've heard guys like... Chris Havens talking about taking the fight to the bad guy. And we have to have that mentality because we have to, we have to succeed. We cannot fail. We have to do it right. She talked about a servant's heart. And I, to this day, I do not understand why police organizations and police chiefs and police executives uh, scoff at the term servant leadership when it is the basic foundation of what we do every single day. We're here as public servants. The only reason we exist is to serve others. That is the basis for what we do. And our fun-loving spirit, this is a tough job and it will kill you. So we have to laugh every day. We have to build relationships every day that are, will outlast us and that will outlast our careers and our legacies. So I want to thank my entire Capitol Police Department. They've been having a great time back there at the table with Bob and everybody else. Um, <laughs> Uh, earlier today, we had 42 vendors 
partners, and that's the most we've had in a long time. And that's not because of me, that's because of all these people back there. Because they worked their butts off to make this conference happen. Um, I want to thank them for all they do, for allowing me to be their chief, and for putting up with me every day. Uh, I want to thank the executive committee, all their support. I want to thank Mona and Erwin for their guidance every day. God bless you, Mona. I, I, I have so much love and respect for you. And I like you too, Erwin. Um, <laughs> I, I, I want to leave you with, with uh, a quote. Um, and my guys have heard it a few times, probably more than they care to, to hear it. Um, it's a quote by Stephen Covey, and it's called The Nobility of Policing. And I think it, it summarizes everything we have done and talked about the last two days, from Jack Enter to our sheriff to talk to the other afternoon. And the quote goes this way, policing is one of the America's most noble profession. The actions of any police officer in an incident can impact an individual for life, and even a community for generations. Given this realization, every police officer must be centered on what is important, service, justice, fundamental fairness, for the foundational principles in which every action must be grounded. The nobility of policing demands the noblest of character. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what the Texas Police Association is all about, and that is what we do every day. I look forward to seeing you before South Padre, but if not at South Padre, I know my guys are trying to go to South Padre. Um, thank you, Mr. President, for taking over because I was about done this evening. And I want to thank my son for being here tonight. I love you, buddy. Thank you all.